It is Sunday night, so it is time to take a peek at the week ahead. And guess what? We're going back to the 90s. We're not talking about years. We're talking about temperatures. The heat building with temperatures in the low and mid 90s each afternoon. Storm chances will come down a bit. Still not out of the question that we see an isolated pop up storm each afternoon. But for the most part, a lot of folks are going to stay dry. This pattern will persist through the week. By the time we get to next weekend, more typical heat humidity for August and a slightly better shot that we'll see a few showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon hours. A little cluster of showers coming through the Lynchburg area down into Appomattox, Campbell counties, and that's kind of fizzling out to the west. And we're just stuck with some clouds in the wake of the storms that fired up here. There you see them from the late afternoon out to the east. So just some areas of fog likely overnight tonight with variably cloudy skies. Here's what's going on with Henri. A lot of rain in the New York City area extending back towards Scranton and Harrisburg in Pennsylvania. The storm system has been drifting in this direction, but it slowed down and eventually is going to pull to the right and go over southern New England once again later on tonight, and especially tomorrow, bringing more heavy rains. Right now, Henri at 41.9 north, 73.2 west. Notice the winds. The wind field really died out uh, very quickly after the storm made landfall in Rhode Island early this afternoon. The wind's only at 30 miles an hour, so it is officially a tropical depression moving to the west-northwest, going to hang out near the Connecticut-New York border for the next 12 to 24 hours and then make that right hand turn. And once it does so, it'll move more rapidly out to sea. But parts of southern New England in for a lot more rain. This is on top of what they've already had in some places, two to four inches here where it's raining tonight and then into parts of central and northern Connecticut and western portions of Massachusetts. Everybody dealing with a flooding threat here. Closer to home, the only thing we have uh, for concerns is the rip currents along the coast, especially if you're going down towards the Outer Banks. This is actually a low risk of rip currents from Virginia Beach down into parts of North Carolina. But the farther south you go, the rip currents uh, risk is higher and also, of course, up to the north, closer to the storm. 71 degrees in town right now, a very muggy night. and The temperature is really not going to move much, and tomorrow will be similar to today right around 90 degrees on average. So uh, as you see over the next seven days, our temperatures again heading into the 90s. But overnight, variably cloudy, few areas of fog, but no other concerns for us. Tomorrow we'll see a little sunshine and a few little storms popping up here and there in the afternoon. Storm chance is only about 20% in any one particular location tomorrow. And then the pattern is mostly dry. With the heat and humidity, you never can rule out a pop-up storm in the afternoon or the evening. So overnight, variably cloudy, maybe a little fog, warm, humid, mostly in the 60s, lower 70s along the coast. And for tomorrow, we'll see partly sunny skies, maybe that shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon with a high of 91. And the heat is really the big story this week. We'll see a mixture of sunshine and clouds each day, maybe just that pop-up storm, but it'll be a rogue storm. Most places will stay dry. Next weekend, rain chances may pick up just a little bit.